Welcome to the course tour for ETT 510 Instructional Media and Technology. The purpose of this video tutorial is to provide you an introduction and orientation to the online course environment that we'll be using for this course. For this course we're using the Blackboard Learning Management System. So let's take a look at the structure of the course, the organization of the course, and, and give you a quick overview of how to navigate and where you can find the pertinent information related to course activities, discussions, and etc. So here you can see when you log into the course you'll come to this very first page that says welcome start here and this is your kind of landing page for the course initially. Here you can find some helpful information about the course. As you scroll through this you'll see that there is a course description listed. You can find the catalog description of our course. Scrolling down you'll see the course overview is provided for you along with some tips for getting started. This video tour will be provided here uh, as well and you'll be able to see that once it is prepared. You'll also have a listing of the course learning objectives so you'll know exactly uh, really what you are uh, going to be learning in this course as well as our um, ADA statement. Uh, some supplemental links are also provided here along the bottom to some other resources uh, that you might find helpful. Now on our welcome page on the right column you'll find information about our meeting dates. So you'll see the uh, dates and times we're meeting. Uh, because this is a fully online course, uh, we will be having some online synchronous meeting times. And you see those dates listed. Uh, but we will also have a face-to-face -face meeting, uh, kind of our kickoff to this cohort program. And that will be, uh, you see the date listed here um, at NIU Naperville. This is the time where we'll also have an introduction to uh, this course and, and this uh, video tour that you're watching is a supplement and complement to the face-to-face -face orientation that you will receive. You can also find your instructor information, uh, contact information here, as well as contact information for uh, your online support uh, specialist for this program. So again, this is your welcome start here page. Now on the left hand side you'll see a column with a variety of links and this is referred to as the course navigation menu. And uh, you can customize this menu. Uh, for example, you can collapse it if you uh, take your mouse and you place it uh, between the, uh, the menu in brown here and the, uh, the rest of the page. When you place the, uh, your cursor there and it becomes a hand, you'll see the option, the uh, arrow. And if you click, you can collapse down that menu to expand the page that you happen to be working on. And then to bring the course uh, navigation menu back, again, you take your cursor to the edge of the screen. Uh, you'll see the arrow button, and you can click on that to bring the menu back. Now let's go through the, kind of the rest of your course menu here, uh, the other items, and, and kind of share where, what you can find where. The next link is the announcements area. And this is where you will find uh, news and updates related to the course. Uh, currently, you can find a welcome uh, from uh, me, your instructor, uh, and you'll find other news updates listed here throughout the course. Once we get started in the course, the announcements page will be the default entry point. So when you come into the course, this will be the first thing that you'll see is the listing of the latest announcements. The next item in your menu is the Your Instructor link. Clicking on that, you will uh, be taken to a page which again has information about your instructor, um, contact information, the course welcome video is there as well. Once again, um, as you scroll through, you'll find information such as professional background, um, a little bit about the academic background of your instructor, the role of your instructor in your course, and then um, your expectations in terms of turnaround time, and even a little bit about uh, personal and family. So I'd encourage you to take a look at that and, and be sure to, to reach out to your instructor. The Your Classmates link, the next link that you'll find, is a listing of the uh, students in this Technology Specialist Cohort program. And so you should see your photo listed here. Um, it will be provided here after our initial face-to-face -face class meeting. So that's where we'll be taking photos and your photo will eventually show up here uh, and be listed with the rest of your classmates. Also uh, within your classmates 
you'll not only find a, a view of all of your classmates, but a downloadable or printable version of this in a one-page document, a PDF that you can print out and um, use as a handy reference to begin to put faces with names as you'll be uh, learning with your classmates, not only through this course, but through the entire cohort program. So let's go to the next section of the course menu, which has to do with really the, the meat of the course, the information and uh, activities and so forth. So the first link here is called Overview. And this is where you would typically find the traditional syllabus and those kinds of general course documents or information. So there, are, the first thing you'll see are a couple of links that you are encouraged to download. Uh, the first is a printable view of the course syllabus as well as a printable one-page course quick guide which will give you at a quick glance an overview of what you can expect uh, in this course. Then you'll find again the catalog description, the overview and objectives, and there's a variety of, uh, of other information items made available here for you. So you'll find information such as when our course begins, information about our required textbook. Um, we do, uh, this program is providing you with a, a free textbook redemption code that you can use to access an electronic copy of your textbook. You'll find that code listed here uh, in the course. Then readings and resources. This is where you'll find, uh, you can find here all of the readings, and I'll, I'll get to this. Um, it's also available directly from it within the menu. Um, of course, videos, YouTube playlist. Uh, we are using an, a number of, of uh, supplemental videos uh, that are available on YouTube, and I've put those together into a playlist that you can access the link right here by clicking on this, this link. You can view that. And then you can see more information about the course. Um, and I'm not going to go through each and every item here, but I would encourage you pay close attention and go through this course overview area. Whenever you see an item that has either a link, a uh, little link icon, or is underlined, that means it is a, a link to, to going inside of, of a folder to, to more information. And you can click on that link. Uh, for example, this takes you inside of assignments, and you can see all of the, the assignments there. Now, there is some uh, redundancy built into the navigation by, uh, by intention, and I'll show you that as we go through. Uh, but just to kind of finish up, you'll find information about our late policy, incomplete policy, academic integrity, um, and so forth. So all of the information, that general syllabus type information is all contained here within the overview section. Now the next link in your menu is to the course calendar. And the calendar is really helpful because it shows you at a quick glance um, all of the upcoming uh, due dates for all of the assignments in this course. So you'll see those listed here. Um, you'll see um, the ability to add, you'll have a calendar for each of your courses. So all of the assignments for all the courses that you are currently enrolled in in Blackboard will appear here on the calendar. And I encourage you to to, to use this to, to get a quick glance at what's due when in the course. The next link in the course menu that I want to want to touch on is the readings link. And within readings, this is where you will find a listing, not only a listing of all of the readings in our course, but also be, you can access the uh, electronic copies of whether it's PDFs or um, other links um, that are readings within the course. And these are organized by unit. So as you scroll through, you'll see each of our units listed and you'll see for each unit the textbook readings uh, if there are any articles that are required as well as additional resources for you to view and then to go in and access those readings you simply click on the link for that particular unit so if we click on unit one readings and resources for example here you see um, uh, a description of what the textbook reading is and notice that there is a reviewed button here. You can mark whether or not you have reviewed a particular reading. So uh, I will go ahead and, and mark the textbook as read if I've already read that. And you can use this as kind of your visual um, checklist, if you will, of the various readings and resources. So um, here's a PDF, here's a web page, um, here's a video for you to watch. And so all of the readings for all of the units are all available. If you'd like to, to read ahead, by all means, you are welcome to do so. Now to navigate back to the readings top level of, your, of the course, you can either click on the readings link 
in the course navigation menu or you'll notice up here towards the top there is a, a series of links often referred to as breadcrumb navigation and you can click on for example readings and resources right here and it will take you back to the readings and resources uh, content area here within our course so all the readings for all the weeks are available for you directly here within readings and resources now the the course is organized into units and so you when you click the units link in the course menu you'll see the uh, unit uh, the given unit that we're working on as well as past units that are available to you so as we begin the course you will see unit one available to you you'll see a listing of the topics uh, the objectives for this particular unit uh, it's all available here now clicking on the folder title unit one link will take you inside the unit folder where you'll find everything you need for this particular unit for example you have an overview uh, as well as a list of objectives for this first unit there is a uh, set of readings are described here um, you will find uh, then activities and assignments described so any any activities that you are to be completing during this unit will be described here as well as uh, the due dates and within this folder you'll find the links to actually complete these various activities and assignments so clicking activities and assignments now I'm inside of this folder and here you can see each of the activities described uh, with due dates uh, with rubrics for those that are graded using a rubric and to complete that assignment you simply click on the link that is provided and you can complete that assignment you can also get to the assignments directly from within the assignments area of the course again there is uh, some redundancy here in the navigation uh, by design so that you can choose how you prefer to get to the assignments they're categorized here by type um, as per listed in the syllabus so for example in this course we're going to be completing some media exploration assignments and so if you click on that media exploration link to go into that folder here you'll see the rubric that will be used to assess your media exploration as well as then links to each of the media exploration assignments that will be completed throughout the course now you will only be completing these at various uh, times and these may not all be available to you to complete but at least the description is listed here for you for each of the assignments um, by type throughout the course so you can go through and you can navigate through each of the folders to, to learn more and to read about the assignments that you'll be completing I'd like you to pay close attention to the technology integrated instructional design plan uh, you'll notice that this is uh, worth a substantial number of points this happens to be a group project uh, that is organized into phases and you'll be able to complete these um, as in as a group throughout the course I'll be uh, forming groups and uh, you'll have the opportunity to then um, complete these uh, this assignment as, as a group and so going inside of this technology integrated instructional design plan folder you'll find the uh, project broken up into phases so here's uh, phase one described you have a template uh, that is provided in both Word and uh, PDF format, as well as then a detailed description of what's expected, and even the rubric that will be used to assess that. Each of the phases of this assignment are provided here, so you can go through and you can read all about the expectations for each. So that's our assignments area of our course, and again, that's accessible directly by clicking on Assignments here in the course menu the final link in this section of our course menu is resources this is just where you can find supplemental resources that I may be providing maybe that don't quite fit a particular uh, area in the course but are just general helps I'll be posting those here for you now let's scroll down and take a look at some of the other menu items that we have here in our, our course menu as we finish our course tour the next link that you'll find are online meetings the online meetings link will take you to an area that describes uh, when we will be meeting together online also provides you the link to our online meeting room that you'll be able to click on to launch the Adobe Connect session for our uh, class you can either click the link provided or click the login here button also provided is information about 
the um, using Adobe Connect on a mobile device. You're welcome to participate in uh, our online meetings using a tablet or even smartphone and you have links to the mobile apps for the various app stores. They are available here for you within online meetings. The next link in our menu is discussions. We'll be using the discussion board within Blackboard extensively throughout our course and you have several different discussion boards available initially. We have a questions and answers forum and this is a place where you can go to ask a question. If you have a question about the course simply click on the questions and answers forum link and then you can go ahead and you can create a thread. Clicking on this create thread button will uh, you'll be able to then post a new question to be answered. We have uh, some other uh, forums here that I encourage you to take a look at and in particular during Unit 1 I'm going to ask that you provide some input into as we'll be forming groups so you can provide any preferences that you might have within forming groups as well as uh, the Unit 1 discussion. So our, our first graded discussion for this week you have the option to choose from three different discussion questions. And so you can go to that forum, you can click on the Unit 1 discussion link, and you'll notice that this is what's called a, a post-first discussion forum. So in order, order to see the posts from the other students, you'll need to go ahead and create a thread uh, answering one of the questions, and then you'll see after you've made your posting, uh, created your thread, you'll then be able to access the threads of the other students and participate in the discussion. We'll be talking more about our use of the discussions when we meet together for our face-to-face -face orientation. The email link provides you the option to send an email to all users, all groups, uh, or even select users. And you can click on the link, um, for example, to send it to select users, and you can select who you want to send your, uh, your email to. Next in the course menu is the My Journal link. And the My Journal link, when you click on this, opens up the Self-Assessment Reflection Journal. Throughout the course, each week, um, you're going to be asked to make a posting here where you self-assess and kind of self-reflect on your learning experience during that particular unit of the course. Uh, what were your key takeaways? What were your aha moments? Um, those types of reflections, we want you to, to record those here. This is a private journal only you and your instructor can view, um, but you are encouraged to uh, be honest and open and uh, this journal will be helpful to you at the conclusion of the course you'll be preparing a reflection paper and you can go back and refer to the postings here within your journal. Next in our course menu quickly we have a My Grades link. This is where you can go to see your grades um, for the uh, course. Now this course uh, we're logged in currently as a sample student um, who hasn't performed real well uh, but your all of the assignments that you have uh, completed participated in will be listed here and uh, you'll be able to view uh, not only the score but any comments that you received from your instructor uh, directly here within the um, this my grades area of the course. The TS online cohort link simply opens up to our uh, online cohort portal where you can see information about uh, which other courses you are currently enrolled in, upcoming courses, um, and other resources related to the ETRA cohort program that you are enrolled in. And finally, learner support. Uh, this area of the course is where you can find links uh, to helps. If you, need, uh, if you would like to look through the Blackboard Help Manual for students, um, there are tutorials for students on getting used to navigating in Blackboard. Uh, if you're having technical assistance, you have information here, contact information for the NIU Help Desk that you can call 24-7 for assistance or email. And then there is additional support information available within the overview uh, section of our course. Always keep in mind that you can contact your instructor by clicking the Your Instructor link in our course menu. And of course, your instructor's contact information is all provided there directly from within uh, this page. Finally, in the course menu, um, there will be eventually an area uh, called My Groups. Now, you may not see this currently when you log into Blackboard uh, to our course because you may not have been assigned to a group yet. 
but once you are assigned to a group uh, your group will be listed and you'll be able to then access your group um, to to see not only who's enrolled in your group but what are the group tools available and group assignments that are available to you there will be a second uh, tutorial provided that will provide you a tour specifically of the group homepage space once groups are assigned. So with that, that is a quick overview and tour of the online learning environment, the Blackboard course for ETT 510 Instructional Media and Technology. Uh, now please go ahead and review the other information uh, items that are posted within the course overview area of our course and bring any questions that you have to our first face-to-face uh, -face, uh, meeting that we will have our orientation to the cohort.